you know dinesh gundu rao the bjp is seemingly confident because they believe congress is its own worst enemy you are the single largest last time as you said earlier 17 seats but in the five years 15 of your mlas left the congress party joined various parties so there's a trust deficit number of people fear that vote for the congress but what will happen after the election where will the congressman go the very fact that you had to take your mlas or prospective mlas to a temple a church a dargah and swear that they will not defect what does that suggest see there are two ways of looking at it first i'll come to your last point first it suggests that we have a party in the india today which is so unprincipled that it will go to any extent to uh, ensure mls defect uh, parties are split uh, governments are uh, broken you know they, they will use any institution uh, to see that you know they come to power by any means so it's an unprincipled party that is ruling the country today not only goa we've seen it in rajasthan we've seen it in karnataka we've seen it in madhya pradesh in northeast for in in many governments so this is a party which is just feeding off uh, you know uh, the you know using all the uh, no, uh, how come your mlas are so susceptible it's you not are saying they, it's not you are saying being that their party is unprincipled but it also suggests that your mlas are very weak no what i'm trying to say is the fault is also i accept there is a fault on our side but look at the politics that the bjp is doing it uses it ed threats blackmails to uh, ensure that governments fall that is one one thing second thing is the more important point is is that today congress has changed itself you know we we uh, we had to convince the people of goa that we will not allow this to happen again so we said these defectors many of them wanted to come back to congress this election we said there is no chance for you guys we are doors are shut for you and even amongst the sitting mlas we had one uh, former cm whose sons had joined bjp we sidelined him long ago mr ravi naik so we started building up another candidate there so we have 80% of our candidates are new candidates young people good people you know many of them are activists many of them have done work in the uh, in social sector you know and we are they electable see are they electable I, in see, goa you need money power sometimes to win elections dinesh gundu see, rao today the old congress is in the bjp this fight is between the new congress and the old congress all the old congress is they have got they have in a way our congress has been cleaned up and all the elements which are corrupt which are using you know which have got no principles no ideology are all with them and today i don't know what bjp is today you know <laughs> within their own bjp if you speak to their cadre and even speaking to their own rss cadre also they are fed up of bjp they are saying what is bjp today in goa we, we, we can't recognize the bjp so our congress is a new congress we've got great candidates young candidates good candidates and that is what we're going to the people with let's clean up goa let's change goa let's bring in a new uh, new politics into goa i think that is the mandate that we are looking for you know interesting mr savaikar the new bjp is the old congress number of people are saying this is a new bjp only four of your 40 candidates are originally bjp people you have done sam dam danda bhed politics in goa for the last 8 years or uh, 10 years to stay in power and now the chickens have come home to roost because in every constituency that i have gone to there is a bj either a bjp rebel or someone who has switched because they are upset that this is a new bjp that has no time for the old old party cadre you see in 2012 when we uh, contested the elections we came out with a sing as a single largest party you got a majority we in got fact. a majority so afterwards in 2017 we again formed the government now there are congress people who joined the party now as uh, as you have said it those people they have joined the party because they said they because because of the development because of the principles that they believed in now you say that since they have joined bjp they are unprincipled for 3 years back they were all your people so i think what now that they, they have bjp has offered them the ticket and BJ, they're, they're they're contesting on the bjp ticket i'm quite confident that they have understood what the bjp is the bjp cadre has accepted them and they are with the bjp and definitely they will win these elections so Rajdeep, if they had any principle those 10 mlas are still elected on the hand symbol they didn't quit the congress they didn't even resign because people had voted for them because they as congress candidates not as bjp candidates so if they had any principle they should have made those 10 mlas resign recontest and then come to power here i mean look at the way he is talking today he is not bothered there's no sense of shame there's no sense of that okay we've done something wrong yes this is part of politics we will ensure defections we will form governments anyhow 
you know they know how to do it you know so that is what the bjp no, no, stands no. today they don't have any principles forget goa across the country today all they talk about is hindutva ram shri ram all that is only for the Mr. sake of gathering votes in, in practice Rajdeep. they are the most corrupt party the the most unprincipled party and it's time this party goes